Now, welcome to another class. I'm Shalad the Blessing, popularly known as Jenna DB. And let's talk about the quantities. Now, when you're talking about quantities, we have a lot of quantities. Now, quantities deals with measurements. Now, we have two types of quantity. Number one, we have the fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities. And we have the derived quantities. We have the right quantities. Now, what is fundamental quantities? Now, the fundamental quantities are also known as basic quantities. The fundamental quantities are also known as basic quantities. And how do we know the fundamental quantities? They are just several. Now, fundamental quantities are coined as LT meta. They are coined as LT meta from Jen David. They are coined as LT meta. So let us list all the fundamental quantities that are known as LT meta. LT meta. Now, the first one, the first one is L, and that is length. And don't forget, the unit of length is what? Is meter. We have the T here to be what? To be time. And time is measured than what? In seconds. We have M to be mass. And mass is measured in what? In kilogram. We have E to be electric currents. Electric currents. And the unit of E, which is electric current, is what? Ampere. So it's measured in ampere. We have T to be temperature. And don't forget that temperature is measured in Kelvin. It can be measured in what? In Celsius as well, even in Fahrenheit. But we are coming to that. Now, M, M is amount of substance. Amount of substance. That's our A. And amount of substance is measured in what? In mole. And we have L to be luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. And the unit for the luminous intensity is candela. Now, these are the seven fundamental quantities. So if they ask you that, what are the seven fundamental quantities we have? We have it to be LT meta. Now, we have two supplementary fundamental quantities. Two supplementary, two supplementary fundamental quantities. Two supplementary fundamental quantities. And what are they? We have the first one to be plane angle. Plane angle. And we have the second one to be solid angle. The plane angle and the solid angle. And this plane angle is measured in what? In radian. And the solid angle is measured in steradian. So these are the two supplementary fundamental quantities we have. Now, someone will now ask me, what are the example of the derived quantities? Now, you don't need to bother yourself. You don't need to give, your, give yourself any issue. Now, derived quantities are quantities that are derived from two or more fundamental quantities. Now, in case you are doing CBT exams, now, you don't need to bother yourself. You don't need to give yourself any issue. Just note that any quantity that is different from all these fundamental quantities is known as derived quantity. Any quantity that is different from these fundamental quantities is known as derived quantity. Now, I'm going to list five. Then, at the comment section, I want you as well to list additional five derived quantity. Now, I'm going to say force. That's number one. As you can see, that force is not part of this. We are going to have acceleration. As you can see, that acceleration is not part of this. And we still have impulse. As you can see, that impulse is not part of this. Then we can still have momentum. Then as you can see, that momentum is not part of this. Then number five, let me add to it, we have velocity. As you can see, that velocity is not part of this. Now, I've given you five derived quantity. Don't forget the code. The code is that fundamental quantities, we have seven, which is known as LT meta. L stands for length, T stands for time, M stands for mass, 
E stands for electric current, T stands for temperature, A stands for amount of substance, and L stands for what? Luminous intensity, in which L is measured in meter, which is length, the time is measured in seconds, the mass is measured in kilogram, the electric current is measured in ampere, the temperature is measured in Kelvin, the amount of substance is measured in mole, and luminous intensity is measured in what? In candela. Yeah, don't forget, I said, the rule says, any quantity that is different from all these fundamental quantities is known as derived quantity. Now, I've given you five examples of derived quantity. Now, at the comment section, let us have addition five of derived quantities. We have a lot of derived quantities. But don't forget the code, the one that is different from this. So, if you have any quantity that is different from this, so it is derived quantity. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. God bless you. I mean, inshallah, the blessing. So let me have your answer at the comment section.